Carlin here again. First off, I'm so glad you tuned in. And secondly, please subscribe to my channel if you like my content. Okay, so today's tutorial is going to be on cardstock. It's going to be a little off topic because it has to do with sewing a little bit, but it's going to be how to make a tool to make your life easier when you're making pillowcases. For those who make pillowcases and other uh, projects in sewing, I have to make this uh, the cuff. You have to um, fold and pin and iron and fold and pin and iron. So I wanted to decrease the amount of work that I that I had to do. I didn't like it, and maybe it might help you also. But when you're making um, pillowcases or any kind of um, projects, a lot of the times you have to fold back your raw edges. So I had to fold back the raw edges once and then the second time to get my full cuff on my pillowcase. And then you have to pin, and I don't want to do that. Um, so what I do is, and you're going to need um, some kind of a ruler, you're going to need a pen, and a uh, marking device, and you're going to need a um, utility knife, okay? Um, and a measuring tape. And I use cardstock. Eight and a half by 11. And it, it, depending on what you're using it for, you could add more or add less. You're going to line up your cardstock. And I use a T-square because I love it. I measure one inch. This will be for the first raw edge fold under. So I measure one inch. I make my mark at one inch. Oops, I should probably. One inch. And then from that one inch mark, I come down another um, three inches. And like I said, you could make it whatever length and size width you want. And then I'm going to make sure it's still lined up along the marks on my mat boards. And then I'm going to align my T-square at my one inch mark. Okay, so then I'm going to get my utility knife. And I want to score it. I'm not going to cut through. I'm going to make, this is very thin. It's not like a foam board or a cardboard where you can make a couple of cuts to get your bend. I just want to bend. Okay, so I'm just going to go along once. You see, I'm not putting any pressure at all. And then I'm going to move my, make my way down to my three inch mark. This is what I like about a T-square because you can just do this. You can just glide it along. Just like this. And I'm going to find my mark. And I'm going to make my cut very light. Okay. Flip it around so that this, the score is on, on the back side. And I'm just going to find where I made that score and right here, and I'm going to bend it towards me. And you get a perfect fold. Okay, and then I'm going to come down and find the third inch, the three inch mark. There, I feel for it here. And I'm going to fold it towards me also. Okay, and that's it. So this is what it should look like. Just like that. Okay. Now I made, the first one I made, this little pink one here. Okay, and this is what this looks like. So I'm just going to show you, I'm going to demonstrate how I do it. Um, I'm going to take this one first. So I'm going to take my fabric and I'm going to align the top edge of my fabric along the top edge of my cover stock. I'm going to leave a little bit of free fabric right there like that. Then along the fold, I'm going to just make sure that my fabric goes within the fold and I'm going to fold it over. Do what You can do a little manipulating to make sure that it's within the fold. 
Okay, then I'm going to fold it again a second time and I'm going to feel for my the mark that my three inch mark where that second score is down at third the three inch mark and I'm going to fold it right over. And my cuff forms. Okay, now the best way to do this, and you can still do your little, oh, the Jamaican came out in me. You can still do your little manipulating to make sure it's within the, the folds. And um, you're going to put one finger, stick right here like that. The best to take it right around here, about here at the other end. And you're going to keep your thumbs, your hand kind of down because you want to keep the fold down. If you do it from here, it kind of comes up, right? So you want to keep your thumb there and you're going to pull pull all the way out and you get your fold okay if you're working with a long piece you're gonna to have to do some really you're gonna to have to be like a little bit of an octopus but it can work okay so there it's one perfect lineup right here okay this is a long one okay so I'm going to show you how this works remember we have a one inch fold and down here we have another half inch fold and here between the first and the second fold is three inches okay so I've Tape this down on the table with masking tape as usual. Okay, so I'm going to put it inside my cardstock and I'm going to line up my fabric, fabric edges with the edges of my cardstock. Make sure that you have your fabric up on the table because if it's hanging down, it's not going to stay within the folds. Okay, so I'm going to line them up again, and then I'm going to bring down our first half an inch fold. Just like this. You may have to do a little bit of manipulating to keep it inside the fold.
Can you see how it's it's uh, turned inside? The first fold, the one inch fold is turned inside and the second fold is turned also inside and comes out this way above the cardstock. So you're going to hold on to your cardstock and you're going to just hold on here like that and you're going to just pull gently. And while you're pulling, I think you're going to probably need something to hold it down, which I didn't think of before. So I have this here. I'm just going to stick that there. And you're just going to grab some pins, pin the fabric because it's going to come apart. Remove your heavy weight, hold on to your cardstock again, and pull some more. You can see it's coming out just as you want it to. It, may, it won't be perfect coming out, but it'll, it, it's, it's going to happen. It's going to make it happen. Keep pulling. 